It's Matt Santiapita from the Santa Sales Houses team, and I'm here today to answer your real estate questions. So one question we get asked a lot is, what is Tarion? So Tarion in the province of Ontario is the governing body that governs new construction housing, so single-family homes and condominiums. So as a builder, you would have to register with Tarion and pay them a fee in order to be able to operate a home-building business. If you're a consumer, Tarion is there to protect you with an insurance premium. And we also get asked the question, well, what is a Tarion fee? A Tarion fee is essentially an insurance policy on new construction, single family homes and condominiums, ranges in, in price from $385 to $1,800 plus HST. Every new home has to, has to pay this, whether or not it's a builder that pays it for the consumer or the consumer, it gets tacked on at the end. It is that fee to ensure there's a pool of funds to cover any claims on new construction homes. And check out the link below if you're curious what that fee might be for the uh, purchase price of your home as they do vary. So every builder in Ontario, if their intent is to build a home and sell it for a profit, so their new construction home building business, they need to be a registered Tarion builder. They pay their fee and they have to, they build a home, they sell it, that's their business. One other thing that can occur is you can get also builders who build properties without the intent of selling it. So they might, let's say, build a fourplex and they're just building a fourplex as a rental, or they're building a hundred unit high rise building as a rental. These units would still be structured in most cases as a condominium, and they could sell them down the road. The metric that uh, Tarion uses is 12 months. So as long as they were to hold it for 12 months, then they could, in theory, sell it. However, you don't really see that if someone does go and sell it down the road. It's generally somewhere around five plus years uh, because in the end, they do want to make sure there are no issues with the, the building that's been constructed. So the Tarion enrollment fee can be paid by either the builder and it's included in the cost of your new home or condo, or it can be tacked on in your disbursements on the purchase date with your lawyer and then the consumer would pay for it. In the end though, let's be honest here, the end user is paying it. It's either tacked on and hidden in the cost of building the home or it appears as an item on your uh, you know, closing statement with your lawyer on closing date. So what if, let's say, you decide to quasi become a builder and you decide, I'm going to build a home, I'm going to earn profit from it, but I'm really going to sell it to my buddy John here. Well, in the end, what you would be doing is breaking the law. Because as Tarion states, if, you are, if your intent is to build a home for profit, you are violating um, laws within our province and within our country. Now... That doesn't necessarily mean you could you could probably help somebody and be a contractor. Um, I would suggest you shouldn't do it because let's be honest here, you are talking about generally the single biggest asset that somebody buys. Uh, I don't know anybody who could afford to walk away from a home that becomes a nightmare. Uh, it's just not worth the risk. And we're talking about, oh, there's a lot of safety elements that are in a home. So not a good idea. So... What if you decide, hey, I've got a lot here and I'm going to build a home for myself and you're going to move into it. It's going to become your principal residence. There's nothing wrong with doing so. So what if you decide to sell that home that you decided to build without a Tarion license? That's going to be a tough one because it's all going to come down to what is the intent. So let's just say you bought a lot, you built your home, and then you legitimately get a... a, a, a a call from your boss and they're like, Hey, we're transferring you across the world. Okay. It's maybe a, a diff, bit of a different scenario probably doesn't happen too often. However, I'm going to say this though, the consumer would be concerned in buying that home that does not have a tarry on warranty because how do they know it was built correctly? Well, the answer is you still have to go through all the permits that a regular builder would. So you have to deal with your city or your municipality. You still have to deal with building code, with electrical code, plumbing code, framing, everything. So in theory, it should be done the same way. However, it is one of those things that we have seen the odd time on a self-build where sometimes the consumer can be like, okay, well, like, how do I really, really know? Well, it's a risk. All I'm going to say, though, is I sure would not be building homes with the intent to sell them for a profit unless you are a Tarion 
licensed builder. It is not worth the ramifications because there are serious steep fines in the tunes of the six-figure amount, and you can even see jail time. So it is serious. It's Matt Santa Capita from the Santa Cells Houses team, and that is Terion and how the fees work.